Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Professor Dr. Nakhi Bhaiya. You are the Namaskar, sir. So, good afternoon, everyone. And so, the most awaited webinar is going to start on gearing up for careers in hospitality and tourism. So I request Dr. Ranjit Verma, sir, Director, sir, of the Delhi Technical Campus, to say a few words for uh, Professor Dr. Ashish Bhaiya. Sir, please. Sir is there. Director, sir, is there. Sir, is audible to me? Sir, do kabi toh main maat sir ko unmute kar sakte ho. Wait, wait. Yes. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon to everybody, and uh, we welcome uh, Professor Ashish Dehia Ji, who has taken some time out of his busy schedule. And today, I welcome all the uh, participants, all the students, and uh, other faculty members, and we certainly would be, will be benefited uh, by his experience and uh, uh, by the vast amount of uh, knowledge that he has gained over a period of time in the hotel industry. So uh, I, I'm uh, very much, uh, in fact, waiting to listen to him and listen uh, to his thoughts that uh, how much the hotel industry and other will be affected by COVID and what are the other, uh, um, uh, in fact, uh, challenges in the host, in the uh, hospitality industry in the coming year, in the coming time so once again i welcome professor deya uh, to the to the technical campus uh, we have been organizing various webinars in at the technical campus and uh, all the departments are actively organizing webinars and uh, this one is from the hotel management and uh, hotel management is very actively involved in organizing webinars. So I wish all the success of Dr. Kavita and all the other faculty members that for the success of this webinar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for giving us time for the webinar. 
now uh, i will proceed with the program of the day so dr ashish dhaya is professor hotel and tourism management at mdu university rohtak mdu university rohtak he is the he is phd in hotel and tourism management and has established and strengthened hotel and tourism management in various universities in india and abroad as founder member of hmct at bit marsa ranchi and uae as advisor hotel management at uttarakhand open university as leader in hnb garhwal central university uttarakhand as founder professor and dean and central university of haryana he has been associated with industry in various capacity with royal hotels and resorts taj hotel palaces and resorts lalit group of hotels ashok group of hotels he has been founder editor of india's first university journal of hospitality application and research associate editor of international journal of hospitality and tourism systems india's only scopus indexed journal of hospitality and tourism he has been contributed seven books and various research publications so we welcome you sir on the behalf of delhi technical campus i welcome you sir and uh, enlighten us with your uh, uh, new and upcoming things in hospitality industry i believe i am audible dr kavita yes sir very much clear sir namaskar Namaste, director, Delhi Technical Campus, the host of the today's webinar, Madam Dr. Kanna, ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues and friends who have joined from different parts of India in this webinar, I welcome you online to the Delhi Technical Campus. I am delighted to see a great man, Devendra Kumar Sharma ji. G K Singh Ji, Ruchika, Adit, Kiti, Krishn Gopal, Dubey Ji, Dr. Runesh, Chef A K Singh, and and lots and lots of academics and people from industry. Yes. Now, this will be endless. Our science is very important. You are here. Yeah. On being a career, I will not come. For about one hour of time. फीमेल को भी दिया जा सकता है when we talked about this webinar that we had initial discussion that came to my mind was the concerns particularly of career in hospitality when the entire world is telling us well we'll move but what all has happened in the industry Okay, and here are for the challenges. I'll request the web master to kindly mute all the participants so that we don't get. Sure. Sure. Thank you. ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स फॉर होटल्स sending messages across the globe and interestingly getting feedback and valuable inputs from many of the guests who were stuck up during this time let's move with a small video from idc this salutation is to you 
to me and to all the heroes of hospitality who have been serving during this tough pandemic time, performing their duties seamlessly, tirelessly in the hotels. Let's start with this small video from IDC. Our journeys may have come to an abrupt pause. Yeah. While the world has retreated home, some have gathered strength to play the most. Some have chosen to take our challenges head on. Some have converted hope to serve the greater cause. And some have gone beyond duty to don brand new capes. So here's our thank you to our heroes on the ground, celebrating the strength that surrounds. Now with this pandemic time, after giving salutations to the heroes who have performed tirelessly, Another very interesting and a small short video from Campaign Ski Hotels, and then we move to the presentation. Welcome to Campaign Ski. I hope you got a pleasant journey. My name is Alina. I'm a brand ambassador in Lady Right. So uh, let me talk to you in my day. Before the entry into the hotel, please kindly scan the healthy QR code. While it goes green, you can continue with the temperature. So machine can check its temperature. So we put the missing marks on the floor. All the hotel employees are wearing masks for the same reason. We offer our guests sanitizer and face masks. Our utmost priority is to provide a healthy and safe environment for all the guests in our hotel. Our the hotel public areas have been disinfected. Elevated buttons and services have been disinfected as well. Welcome to the We provide your air purifying machine, which is on the All our mates are wearing protective masks and glasses. Besides, they are using the different color cloths with the material. For all our guests, we have prepared the individual hygiene stuff, including Um, 
Sydney offers you a great selection of outstanding venues. Allow me to introduce one of them. All the room facilities are sanitized for usage. The seats are placed in a safe distance at least one minute. All the employees are working here wearing a face mask and always Hi, Tilar. Long time, Nancy. May I have my special drink? By scanning this QR code, our guests can receive their complimentary drink to start their evening. Great. I will. Thank you. Atila is our director of beverage who has a lot of international awards. So he will make you even unforgettable with his special drinks. We hope you enjoy staying with us. And we're looking forward to welcoming you to Kempinski very soon. So this was about Kempinski. And there are many, many more videos which are available on the hotel's websites. Interestingly, the video was introduced purposely for today's webinar for the specific reason that we are talking about gearing up for careers in hospitality and tourism. So ladies and gentlemen, these videos raises certain questions to our minds that number one, what would be the careers in hospitality and tourism? Two, what would be the changing roles? Because when we talk about careers, changing roles, there are a lot of things that are entering into the mind of people. There are many people who are uh, concerned that what will happen in context of their employabilities. There are many people who are concerned that uh, the existing employees who are working, how they will be sustaining and the new students who are likely to seek admissions, they are concerned that what will happen to them. The existing students who are working or are interns or are into universities or colleges or IHMs, they are concerned what would be their fate. So these videos and new updates about COVID-19 and what is likely to happen in hospitality also raises a question for debate that what would be the changing roles and how these roles would be different from the existing ones. With this brief introduction, I welcome each one of you to this webinar and compliment Dr. Kavita for organizing this at a very apt time on a very relevant topic. I believe my screen must have been started being visible to you again. And when we move towards hospitality careers, let us first talk about that when you are talking about hospitality, it's something which is very, very different from others in a way, different in a way that the people who are youngsters, who are youth, who are keen to shape their careers, they understand it very well that hospitality and tourism offers you an early responsibility. Early responsibility, a fast growth on the job training and a career development. And the opportunities are excellent when people talk about careers in hotel management. Friends, hotel managers are responsible for each and every aspect of the hotel and operation and other departments Apart from it, there are certain takeaways which the new learners need to understand and learn. One, to be confident in yourself. Know that you have the power to inspire your team and build trust with your hotel guests. Be ready to work as a part of team and embrace the concept of a flat structure, which is very, very different from that of other organizations. Chipping in when it gets busy will get you through all the different types of crises. <laughs> And isn't it an exemplary work that during this pandemic time, when essential service providers and life saviors like doctors, police officers, and other people are contributing in the best of their capacities, 
despite big challenge, hoteliers are working hard to keep their guests safe, to help those guests who stuck up because of the airlines or other issues during the Corona times. Wasn't it an exemplary, exemplary activity of Indian hotel company Taj Group that the doctors who were there, they were offered accommodation and lot and lot of meals were offered to the people who could not be reached. So does have been the good practices with Lalit Hotels, ITC, the Park and the Obroy Group. Most importantly, when we are talking about hospitality in today's scenario, we need to be open to that idea that we can always learn more and surround ourselves with our team, with the right people to do this. Hospitality is one of the few sectors where one can take early responsibility and achieve a management position at a relatively young age. When we talk to the young learners, the students who are in 10 plus two, who are keen to opt for careers in hospitality, no doubt there have been questions in front of their minds, in front of the parents, as well as the existing learners. When you go and visit any hotel or access any website of the hotel, you find that most of the employees who are working there are of a relatively young age. Isn't it a greater opportunity that the youth gets opportunities and employability in such a diverse sector? When we talk about salary potential, traditionally the salaries within the hospitality, travel and tourism sector are lower than those in other industries. However, there are still certain roles that can prove financially lucrative. We'll be talking about them in detail at a later end. Third important aspect which comes to my mind when we talk about hospitality is diversity. Continually welcoming new guests to the hotel means each day is filled with new challenges and requests which keep your working day interesting. Opportunities within hotel management are endless. You could work for an independent or hotel chain. You need to be flexible. You can become a general manager or manage specific departments and work at variety of locations such as big cities, coastal areas, mountains, and the list is endless. You'll get to tackle new challenges every day and meet and make connections with people from all over the world. And if you are after a standard Monday to Friday, nine to five PM job, hotel management is probably not meant for you. Let's move towards fourth important aspect, which we look forward whenever we look forward for employability or shaping a career. As a hotel manager, the interesting thing that comes is job satisfaction. Your job is about people and therefore you need to be a people's person. Your aim is to ensure that every guest stay is as pleasant and enjoyable as possible and the highest standards of customer service are met. In short, it's your job to make people happy. So it's time to look into that what are the trades or what are the important aspects of this sector and how can we develop ourselves during this pandemic time to shape our careers effectively in times to come for hospitality and use. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the sectors which needs a lot of creative input. You see, where the airlines, tourism, hospitality, I mentioned categorically, that is the worst hit sector during this pandemic time. Despite this, isn't it very unique and interesting that apart from business model, hotels and the related sectors have opted for a philanthropic approach? Isn't it very interesting to know that chefs, they prepared food and was delivered to millions of people? If you visit the websites of hotels like Lalit, Abroy, Taj, Park, I'm naming Indian origin hotel chains, we'll find that they have contributed in an amazing way by providing lots and lots of food and other services to the people, to the needy, and in honor of doctors and other officers who have served during the pandemic time. So creativity is very much needed in tourism and hospitality. Each guest is different and so are their needs. In this role, we always create a product and that's a new recipe of a restaurant, innovative cocktail of a bar and its overall guest experience, which is important. There is always scope to be inventive. 
it often takes hard work to get new initiatives off the ground but since guest experience is a major part of hotel success, employers are generally open to creative and constructive suggestions, especially if they will enhance or improve the organization's reputation. And last but not the least in this aspect, you get a chance to travel. So hospitality, travel and tourism opportunities includes jobs in hotel management, exist in countries all over the world. If you work as a manager for a large chain hotel, you'll have the chance to travel not only locally and nationally, but internationally. This industry is truly global. It offers the opportunity to travel and work in some of the most exotic locations on the planet. So who would not be keen to work for hotels and hospitality? When we talk about inspiring and igniting young minds for careers in hospitality, we need to make a very clear understanding to them that when we talk about tourism, lodging, hospitality, it can be broadly categorized into different parts of an umbrella. One can be travel, which encompasses of air, cruise liners, rail, coaches, automobiles, and other sectors. Second, and the interesting one could be lodging that can have hotels, motels, resorts, and the list is long. Third one, can be an interesting area of assembly and event management where meetings, conventions, expositions can be done. Fourthly, restaurants and managed services. So managing of restaurants, going with own startups, entrepreneurship opportunities, and the last and the very interesting one in a broader way of umbrella, recreation, going for attractions, gaming, parks, recreation, and other modes. So in these broad areas, there can be interesting and amazing career opportunities for learners. When we talk about hospitality, various things that comes to our mind that include services, some comfort, travel, work, being looking smart, trips, guest audits, interacting with people, luxury homes, that's another interesting concept that has emerged up. Hostels, hospitals, facilitation and service providing services, manage arrangements, and being innovative. You see that the facilities of the luxuries that are being offered, if you go to some of the good luxury hotels in the world, you'll even find that apart from the food menus, apart from the in-room dining menus, there are even exotic pillow menus that are being kept at the guest rooms. Isn't it a good example of innovation that what all can be the possibilities when we talk about hotel? You must have come across various videos during this pandemic time that people have launched how to make towel arts, how to do napkin foldings, and how uh, interiors or bedrooms can be redesigned, remodeled, and what not can be done. So looking towards these, these all are the various areas that we talk about hotel, hospitality, and tourism. Since this workshop or this webinar is primarily for gearing up for the new people, for igniting their minds for careers in hospitality, let's talk about in a very clear and open way that what is likely to happen when somebody is entering into hospitality and tourism sector. When I, I remember my example, the 20 years back when I graduated from my hotel management college, it was very interesting journey. And uh, the, the session would be uh, sharing not only the good facets, but also the harsh realities and hardships of the hospitality and tourism sector. Interestingly, when a candidate comes after 10 plus two, he's open to uh, uh, the learning process. And when we talk about courses in India, there are some courses after class 10, then we have courses after 10 plus two. You can go for our undergraduate BSc program under Ministry of Tourism, Government of India. You can go with some universities at central or state level or private or deemed universities offering three year or four years bachelor degrees. Uh, not very back, government had also introduced a vocational program 
we work program in catering technology, hospitality, or tourism, which is a modular program. Then there are certain industry integrated programs which are offered as a part of learning and corporate social responsibility by leading hotels like Obroy, Taj, JP Group, IDC Welcome Group, where the learners can step into after 10 plus 2 and come and enter into the uh, amazing area of hospitality. But uniquely, after going into this after 10 plus 2, the first and foremost thing that a learner acquaints himself or herself is the first year which encompasses broadly of various subjects, including hotel operations and related areas like communication, computer, personality development, management, and other disciplines. And the second year usually gives a learner an opportunity of intern or training now we'll talk about them one by one. That's a, that's the first very much interaction of a learner to the industry, and um, uh, to to my belief, it, it can be amazing, which can help a learner to move ahead, shaping his career in a long way, and it can be shocking other way down as well. So when we talk about interns or trainees, I would rather say or urge upon that all of us who are into industry or are into learning should acquaint the trainees or interns with real facets. And uh, during first year, there is a very interesting video. I'm moving to the next slide and coming back to the same one after some time. This, this video comes to my mind when uh, I talk about life of a hotel management student. I believe most of you must have watched this movie, October. And uh, let, let me play a brief, uh, a, a very quick and a crisp video of the scene. That what happens? Where is that? But the Muslim made a bar in a picture. But everybody was not able to do it. But I also guess about how he might have done. होता है ऐसा इंटर्नशिप में लर्नर्स जाते हैं और उससे पहले अगर उनको ओरिएंट कर दिया जाए कि जब आप इंटर्नशिप पे जाएंगे तो आपको वाकई मक्खी मच्छर भी मारने पड़ेंगे आपको कमोड्स भी क्लीन करने पड़ेंगे आपको अंडर गार्मेंट्स भी क्लीन करने पड़ेंगे और लॉन्ड्री क्या कलनरी ऑपरेशंस क्या अगर ये माइंडसेट उनका उस हिसाब से ओरिएंट कर दिया जाए तो मैं समझता हूँ कि एक एक्सेप्टेंस बनती है यहाँ मुझे याद आती है गुरु नानक देव जी की यहाँ मुझे याद आती है सिखिज्म की आप ये देखिए कि कितनी सहजता से गुरु नानक देव जी ने सर्विस को सोसाइटी से इंटीग्रेट कर दिया आप आज भी विश्व में किसी भी मुल्क में चले जाएं तो आप आएंगे कि अगर वहां पर गुरुद्वारा है तो कम से कम कोई किसी भी धर्म या मजहब का व्यक्ति हो वो भूखा नहीं कर सकता है कितना बड़ा उदाहरण उन्होंने आने वाली ना जाने कितनी सदियों तक के लिए रख दिया है कि ये एक्सेप्ट कर लिया गया कि कोई काम छोटा या बड़ा नहीं में लोग आए गुरुद्वारे के सामने रुकते हैं और जो है कोई बुध कर रहा है कोई सेवा कर रहा है और सेवा के भाव से जोड़ दिया गया और उसकी एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी यहाँ हम सब का एज एकेडमिशियंस एज इंडस्ट्री पीपल एक बहुत बेहतरीन रोल बनता है कि हम ये देखें कि हम फर्स्ट ईयर में लर्नर्स का ऑरिएंटेशन किस तरह से कर पाए कि जब वो इंडस्ट्री में जाएं तो उनको ये चैलेंज ना लगे कि मुझे सुबह से शाम तक मॉपिंग करनी पड़ रही है या मीटिंग करनी पड़ रही है और रही बात आज के मुश्किल जरिए वक्त में तो कितने सारे टास्क हैं वो बगैर गेस्ट के भी खुद को सैनिटाइज और मेनटेन करने में कर रहा है अगर ये बात फर्स्ट ईयर के दौरान या एडमिशन के दौरान लर्नर्स को क्लियर हो जाए तो मैं ये समझता हूँ कि बात वाले चैलेंजेस कम हो सकते हैं और लर्नर ये डिसाइड कर सकता है कि वो इस एरिया में अपना करियर बनाना चाहता है या उसके कप ऑफ कॉफी में कुछ और है तो I believe that that's an amazing thing which can be shared to the learners and they should be acquainted with the life of a hotel management student. 
नाउ इंटर्नशिप या ट्रेनिंग्स के बाद अब बात आती है अपॉर्चुनिटीज की कि क्या क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज लर्नर्स के पास हो सकती हैं हम कुछ उन अपॉर्चुनिटीज के बारे में बात करेंगे जो शायद एक हर होटल मैनेजमेंट कोर्स करने वाले के लिए ना होता है किसी लग्जरी होटल या किसी बड़ी होटल चेन में रोजगार पाना या एम्प्लॉयमेंट ही पाना वो तीन जो है मैं समझता हूँ कि उसके एंट्रीज हैं फर्स्ट वन वन कैन बी इधर एंटर एज एन असिस्टेंट इन हॉस्पिटैलिटी होटल और टूरिज्म सेंटर or one can go as a supervisor or thirdly as a management trainee in hotel and allied hospitality industry tino hi raah jo hai wo bahut aasan nahi hai lekin bahut kathin bhi nahi main kahunga baat hai to ek samajh ki baat hai to ek passion ki ek jazbe ki ki agar hum usme jana chahte hain to fir dagar ki chinta kya hai so when we talk about entering into luxury segment or entering into a chain or a organized to well set up learners should be acquainted that they have these three ways to step into and there are interesting interesting hotel websites who are acquainting about their careers to the learners and i think there should be some programs for them right in the first year that how the learners could acquaint themselves that what hotels need or what hotels visit uh those who are finding this uh, presentation informative and okay i would request them to write yes into the chat section that my voice is audible to them they they are finding the video and image quality fine so that i can get to know about it and i can take the course of action accordingly i wait for your comments into the chat section preeti badan singh chauhan sahab uh, sanskar bhateja ji and 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 press call friends who are here by the time i continue to receive your answers into the chat box let me take you to uh, the next slide which is associated with it and then come back to the existing one you see uh, the learners needs to be taught about that which all are the exciting and amazing hotel chains baat vocal for local ki ho rahi hai pandemic time ne hame bahut kuch sikhaya hai aur bahut kuch uh, mushkil bhara waqt bhi diya hai let the learners in the first year itself be taught about that what all are there in terms of hospitality what all are the leading hotel chains in the country and let them access their careers with obrais group taj group itc welcome group the lalit group and here ladies and gentlemen let me share it with you even during this pandemic times share with your learners that they should go and visit these hotels website do you know almost each of the hotel chains have made some videos pertaining to handling guests during corona times what would be their procedures properties and the groups like obrois have created and defined new job roles of hygiene and sanitation or safety managers and they have constituted some committees which are responsible to ensure that hygiene safety and, and, and important aspects pertaining to the guests as well as employees and and they share it to the management freely and frankly that what all are the areas which have a scope for improvement did somebody notice about it that obroy group if you visit their website you will find that what they have done that they have even shared recipes to boost or strengthen immunity system i would urge upon that after we complete this webinar today go to the websites of obrois and access that what all are the recipes of different foods which are being recommended by their chefs in terms of uh, immunity strengthening uh, dishes similarly where the world is talking about employability challenges do you know the iconic group like tatas the taj group indian hotel company has been evaluated as one of the most trusted brands in 2020 do you know that during this tough time they have not merely helped the doctors or the needy with the accommodation food and 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 lot lot many things but also have ensured that employees are being taken good care of which means a lot interestingly if you visit itc welcome group portal 
you'll find that even Taj and ITC have put on certain details for recruitment during this time. The reason that to attract and have talent during this time can be one of the good strategies for any of the operating brands to revive and develop themselves. Interestingly, when you go to Lalit or the Park Group or, or, or any other Indian origin of Delhi, you'll find that there are many best practices to share. I move ahead with the aspect that in this screen, which you are seeing, there is something common amongst all three pictures which is being denoted. I would like to answer you rather than me explaining it. So I am waiting for your answers into the chat section that there are three pictures which are visible on your screen. What is common in these three pictures? Let us go with your observation and then my narrations added to it. I am waiting for your answers. All right, I've started receiving warm and welcoming smile is Adit is mentioning. And uh, Sanket is uh, mentioning that uh, there is a smile, right? Uh, interestingly, yes, warm smile, yes, Vikas Mohan is mentioning, Muskan is mentioning smiling face, polite and calm, yes, Rakesh Singh. So I think that these visuals speaks a lot. Nishant mentions passion towards work and grooming. Now, my viewpoint is that rather than telling learners that they should be well groomed, they should smile and they should be passionate. Muskan is mentioning about best service and there are a few days mentioning positive attitude and so and so. I think it is important that learners should learn with these tools and we should equip them by taking to the websites and these visuals to enable them to understand that one thing which is common in these three pictures, apart from what you all learner people have mentioned, is that all three of them are youth. I think that means a lot. I mentioned in the beginning of this session that this is a sector which gives you early responsibilities with lucrative careers. All three of them are youth. So that means that when the luxury brands are operating with the youth, there are something which is concrete and something amazing with the youth that hotels prefer. So that, that's a strong point for us to share it with the youth, number one. Number two, yes, understanding I am waiting for your answers. In the time, I also like to share that when you go to Obroy Group or when you go to Taj or ITC in their career section, there are very interesting success stories that are being mentioned. Visit about those success stories into the career sections that learners can know about those success stories that how much time the people have taken to rise into the sector or to the trade or to the industry. Right? And uh, when we talk about um, moving fast in the industry, I think they can be leading examples to have success stories from OCLD or Taj or, or other, which hotels are prominently displaying or mentioned on their portals. We move on to the slide, which uh, we had left apart from this, that these are the areas in hotels where people can move on. Now, assistant to supervisor, it usually takes two years. A supervisor to a uh, assistant manager takes another two years. I think with conviction, it's time to enable a learner understand that after doing a three-year undergraduate program, even if he's uh, uh, not an exemplary candidate, but an average candidate, and is, if he has passion and he has dedication, if he joins even as an assistant, 
after four years, he is likely to be an assistant manager. Such a fast track. And it, it won't be that you are just step in and you will be getting it. There need to be certain skills and certain developments which needs to be incorporated. We'll be talking about it into the later slides of this presentation. Then when you move towards other areas, flight kitchens and onboard flight services are another areas, opportunities for hotel management learners. Interestingly, Indian Navy or Army, they offer hospitality services and there are special recruitment drives for that. There are opportunities for guest or customer relation executives in hotel and other service sectors. One more and a very prominent thing that has emerged over the last decade is opportunities in retail management. For the students who have done some short term course or a diploma or a one year diploma, they, they are very gladly absorbed into the entry level position into the retail sector. And actually hotel and hospitality is nothing but a lifestyle management program which gives you an orientation how to live life in a great way. Then there are enormous opportunities about schools, universities and guest houses where they take guest house managers or in government sector there are Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalayas which take catering managers or catering supervisors into their schools and are run by central government. One interesting facet that has emerged and has stood even during this tough time is hospital and institutional catering. I remember 20 years back when I graduated, we were looking forward to have opportunities with Taj or Royce, which still today is Makkah and Medina for hospitality uh, graduates. Uh, a very interesting thing started coming up and that was hospital and institutional catering. Many of my friends, they joined hospital and institutional catering and are doing wonders now. And uh, most of the good hospitals provide amazing food, both for the patients as well as the doctors and the employees of the hospitals. And uh, that's something which even during this tough pandemic times has continued. This, this I can say, is one of the sectors of hospitality which ha has a limited impact of Corona. Now moving to the next, teaching and learning. I can say that in this webinar, we have a lot of friends who are from academia and uh, industry also. Chef Ajay Sudji is there, Bharat Sharma ji is there, Deepak Chikara ji is there, uh, Dr. Arunesh is there, Hardaman ji, Dr. Suresh Jayal, Dr. Vikas Sivach, Dr. Prem Ram, Gaurav Tyagi, and, and, and not many. Now, we need to understand that with this changing time, ladies and gentlemen, the teaching and learning also is going to change. We'll be talking about it on an exclusive slide at a later stage. I confine my talk here only to the aspect that after doing their management, there are opportunities for teaching and learning for the learners to explore. Then there are exciting opportunities for marketing and sales into hotel and other related service sectors. Even certain state tourism development corporations, they recruit people with hotel or tourism management background. Resort management, a uh, very interesting area and uh, the people who are passionate for going abroad. There are many small resorts which are there and I personally know many examples from real life that uh, the couple went overseas and performed well and uh, a, a resort owner, he lives in States and he has a resort in New Zealand and he has offered the resort to the couple who is there in New Zealand and they are taking care of that the entire accommodation meals everything has been given to them and uh, it's only for uh, some duration of time the honor comes from states to New Zealand uh, usually during the peak season and uh, then rest entire time it is the people who have been uh, offered this task take care of it. This, this is a very interesting model. 
I think when we'll talk about entrepreneurship, we'll come to uh, models across the world also. And uh, next itself point is of entrepreneurship and startup. The government of India has promoted entrepreneurship and startup in a long way. And uh, before I move to this, let me cover the next two parts and come to this slide exclusively. There are opportunities for learners in multinational companies for their hospitality services. And then again, stepping into entrepreneurship for the same. There is a very beautiful example of the same of NRI Chaiwala. And uh, there are opportunities for uh, students of hospitality and tourism to step into as management trainee or executives in international or national fast food chains. And uh, then events management, destination wedding. And then now let's let's go to the fine details of these, which we have been talking so far. So uh, we were talking about entrepreneurship and startups. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about entrepreneurship and startup, the thing that comes to my mind is there is no question that hospitality is a mammoth of industry, raking in trillions of US dollars each year, as you might expect with any industry of such enormous revenue scale, newer and fresher companies make a foray in the sector every year. Innovation and creativity have taken over in the current knowledge economy, and young entrepreneurs are taking the market by storm, including the hospitality industry. A lot of these startups are backed by reputed venture capitalists, while a lot of new ones are bootstrapping to make a mark in the startup arena. Lots of budding entrepreneurs in the hospitality industry have started to move from traditional full time jobs to taking up freelance jobs to work on their entrepreneurial project alongside. So there, there is one more thing that comes to my mind here, that if you look towards this, this change or diversity into hospitality sector or tourism sector, you'll find that uh, gone are the days that people were only aiming for being a management trainee or being an assistant or being looking forward for employment. The youth of today is really passionate to do something distinctively unique and different. And that's, that, that gives a um, uh, thought-provoking debate to each one of our minds that we never thought about uh, 20 years or 10 years from now uh, or back that what is likely to happen and what is going to happen in the future. Taking a beautiful example that uh, when uh, I was a student, I was a learner in uh, introduction to hospitality, we used to learn about hotel chains, their origins, their developments. And the concept of entrepreneurship was touched upon. But where else, when you talk about and uh, you see that somebody who could raise an excess of 400 million US dollars in capital with nearly 20 investors and without buying any hotel is something which is uh, a kind of dream. And if that could have been talked at the time, people would have said, have you gone mad or what? I'm talking here about OYO, the startup which was founded in 2000 by in Gurugram. You see that that could raise an excess of dollar 400 million in capital with nearly 20 investors. And I need not mention about it. Each one of you knows about the success story of OIO. Another interesting entrepreneurship opportunity or, or a, a, a model from hospitality is Fab Hotels. This budget hotel aggregator was founded in 2015 by Vaibhav Agrawal and Adarsh Manpuriya in Gurugram. Total capital raised by this early stage startup is near $35 million with investors such as uh, Goldman Sachs and other associated with the venturing and funding of such ventures. Then there comes a very interesting thing and that's Colive. This Bangalore-based seed venture, founded by Suresh Rangarajan and Sundari Rangarajan, 
harnesses technology to let people search online for branded serviced homes located close to their workplaces or educational institutes now you see this is the point which i want to touch upon that we need to really think about innovation and igniting young minds that if the young learners or the youth of our country understands that if they innovate if they explore there are lots and lots of opportunities and possibilities apart from the traditional job roles in the hotel sector and there are certain set of skills that are needed they can certainly develop and mine and your task is to acquaint them with what all are those possibilities to ignite their minds so that they can look forward for some new thoughts and offer them some deliverables interestingly usp of collive is that the aggregators offers fully furnished service apartments at affordable prices now could we think about it 20 years back or 25 or 30 years back that when uh, apart from the luxury hotels or the chain hotels there could be some such opportunity also and the scope of the same is likely to increase more in times to come. I compliment Suresh Rangarajan and Sundari Rangarajan for this terrific, fantastic idea. With the uh, globalization and mobility of people across the nation and beyond the boundaries, I think that would be an absolute, absolute dire need to make use of technology to let people search online for branded serviced home. Think about you or me being transferred to some other part of the country or our children from now moving ahead or every year our students who are going for internship to different parts of the country or abroad. If we tell them during the pre in the internship meet at our university or institute level that they should explore college and they should look forward for service departments or accommodations through them it can be a great solution so my my point is that we need to look forward for finding out problems and looking forward for solution centric approach innovate come with ideas and look forward that how they can be converted into business models there is another interesting example of hospitality entrepreneurship that's a room on call room on call lets business travelers book hotels online these books bookings are technology driven and generally associated with deals and discounts and room on call was founded in 2015 and uh, it's, it's again an amazing venture then i would request the participants to please mute themselves dr mahesh your mic is on i request you to mute yourself please Who amongst us is now not aware about Zomato, a popular food restaurant such Zomato? Do you know that it raised a whopping of US dollar 200 million in a series and, and has done wonders. Zomato also doubles up as Google for restaurants and hospitality in India in UAE. Dr. Mahesh, I'll request you to please mute yourself. Then is another example is Trillio, a Bangalore based startup that uses artificial intelligence and it is artificial intelligence voice driven chat to assist customers. I'll request the uh, web administrator to kindly mute the participants. It is leading to disturbance. Has it been done? All right. It's done. It's done. Thank you. Thank you. Then there comes another interesting concept. Dr. Kavita, I think I have uh, another 15 minutes with me. Yes, sir. We are oh, waiting for you. a question answer round. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. So there is another interesting uh, concept of Zostel. It's a chain of backpacker hostels in India and operating in 25 Indian cities and in Nepal. 
Now, uh, it's a very unique service model that offers authentic local experiences and explorers can afford them at a reasonable cost. 2013, this was founded in Jaipur and uh, has raised dollar one million in capital. Then comes another interesting uh, entrepreneurship venture is Ziffy Homes, a startup founded by Sachin Sanchal Agarwal and Sahil Agarwal and Saurabh Kumar in 2015. And um, Ziffy Homes uses data analytics and artificial intelligence to enable customers to find out homes on rent online. And then Tribe Hotels, a Bangalore-based technology-driven accommodation booking platform where people can track affordable hotels in India, founded in 2015 by Rahul Chaudhary, Kadamjit Jain, and Siddharth Gupta. So there, there are enormous, enormous examples of entrepreneurships and startups. And uh, very recently, if you have uh, viewed or participated in International Yoga Day, I, I'm sure a uh, pop-up or an ad must have appeared on your screen that how a young boy uh, thought of coming back to India and uh, leaving his green card and uh, doing something for entrepreneurship and startup. Yes, I'm talking about Jagdish, uh, who incidentally happens to be my friend and my batchmate also. That he stepped into uh, entrepreneurship venture in a massive way by the name of NRI Chaiwala. You visit NRI Chaiwala and see that how uh, amazingly he has done and uh, various different types of teas he's offering and, and an amazing, amazing idea. Moving ahead to the next, next aspect. Apart from it, I'm sure that when the screen comes to your mobile or laptop display, it brings smiles to you. Who doesn't remember Madhur Jafri? At least I remember that Chef A.K. Singh Sahab, when he used to teach us, he used to give us very interesting notes at our IHM on cuisine of India, taste of India, and, and uh, very uh, um, uh, happily he used to share that they, they are uh, some excerpts from Taste of India by Madhur Jafri. I don't know how many new students have accessed or read this book, but I think it's a must read one. And uh, there are opportunities for YouTubers, for culinary studios, and TV or celebrity chefs when we talk about hospitality and tourism, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think Sanjeev Kapoor needs no introduction. And when we talk about uh, a boy, or uh, I, 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 it would be more apt to say a renowned name as a winning Michelin star, chef and uh, a humbled chef or uh, the one who has been honored as the sexiest men alive or sexiest chef is I'm talking about Chef Vikas Khanna. Interestingly, his book, Buried Seeds, is still on my table and is very close to my heart. I think I must read for uh, the young faculty or the learners. And uh, when I met Vikas, the only thing which I asked him is to give a, a autographed book of buried seeds so that I can uh, share it with my students and my children and read out the chapters during free times so that, that his inspirational journey could ignite the new minds. Interestingly, Ranveer Barar, you must have seen his recent uh, webcast on Ministry of Tourism Government of India portal also. Uh, and uh, Chef Harpal Sokhi, Namak Shamak, Namak Shamak Dal Dete Hai. Rakesh Sethi got fame from Mirch Masala, Star Plus, and a very popular chef. Uh, youth icon Kunal Kapoor. India on my platter, when this book comes to my mind, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, spark is there in the eyes to talk about Saraj Goyla, who has not merely appeared as a culinary studio or a TV chef, but also is a promising entrepreneur who has introduced his eating outlets in Mumbai and other parts of the world. 
And uh, you see that apart from that, there is one beauty about hospitality. At times, it's a question of debate also. That apart from a person who is formally educated to shape career into hospitality, this sector is open for people from different walks of life and all what is needed is passion. I think Madhur Jafri being a popular author or uh, how can I forget to mention about Colleen Taylor, same here. Uh, she has contributed lots and lots of books on hospitality and food, at least one of my best read authors whose books I always find an opportunity to read and enjoy. So we were talking about that hospitality offers opportunities for people from different areas, different arenas. And Neeta Mehta, a very popular cookbook writer, or uh, I think initially when you uh, uh, take your learners for an inspirational journey, uh, who can forget Tarla Dalal? The, the website and the recipes are still so apt and are popularly uh, followed by millions of people across the world. We move towards another interesting facet that apart from this, there are opportunities and people have come in different diverse areas as food historians. Some people uh, utilize their time or uh, have a passion of being a speaker like me uh, that I come and look forward uh, to speak or address at different platforms. I thank Dr. Kavita especially for inviting me at Delhi Technical Campus today. And uh, there are culinary legends and authors who have worked amazingly. They are interesting form of uh, careers, which one can always, always explore. Uh, I think uh, meeting Chef Parinder Bali is, uh, is really, really amazing and uh, uh, a once in a lifetime experience. But then when we talk about meeting Chef Bali, there is another thing that comes to my mind that uh, learning from him through his books is something unique and amazing. And uh, if you talk about food historian, I'm sure that you must have got an opportunity to read book from Katie Acha about Indian food history and aspects. And uh, that, that must have been very interesting to you. Let's let's have some more names from your end into the chat section about good food historians or speakers or culinary legends or authors you know because uh, in the given slide I could mention only three of them. By the time I continue uh, giving the narratives, I would look forward for your answers so that uh, we know more about uh, food historians, speakers or culinary legends. Who doesn't know about Pushpesh Pant now, a professor from Jawaharlal Nehru University. And if you look towards his discipline and the work which is doing now are two absolute different areas, but it is all his passion, commitment and hard work that has given him this fame and, and, and lots of followers. And uh, the hidden treasures when we talk about in the academic world, uh, the founder uh, of tourism and hotel management at Jamia Milia Islamia, Professor Inayat Zaidi Sahab. You talk to him about food history and open up your minds. It's, it's indeed a mind boggling experience talking to him and knowing about it. Then uh, we move ahead uh, to a very interesting food historian, Salma Hussain. Go to uh, uh, her uh, excerpts and uh, the advices which she has given to ITC. When she talks about it, it mesmerizes you. And uh, the culinary legend, Majid Gail Sahab, uh, a true, true culinary hero of India, contributed in enormous ways to promote Indian cuisine and food. Chef Parvinder Bali, I'm sure most of you have been recommending or going through his books from Oxford University Press and many of your learners and students must have been learned from him in Obroys or OCLE. Uh, 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 an amazing author, uh, Dr. Sudhir Andrews, and uh, contributed to lots and lots of books with Tata McGraw-Hill and uh, various hotels as well as hotel management institutes. Another interesting food historian, Ashish Chopra, listen to his talks and uh, thoughts on food history. 
I love to have um, uh, audience and I love speaking. So I have added my name also here into the speakers list. Kamal Kant Pant, uh, presently principal of IHM Pusa. I was delighted to read his two books. One was on uh, cuisine of Madhya Pradesh. And that was something which he took an interesting initiative of documenting the cuisine of Madhya Pradesh. And again, working on an interesting platform for publication. Moving towards uh, promising women and an amazing couple, I'm talking about G. Raghubalan and Smriti Raghubalan, their hotel housekeeping book, I'm sure that many of you must have been through and must have been quite informative and an amazing experience. In the same series, we have added a young friend of ours, Dr. Malini Singh, that she has also contributed a book on hotel housekeeping, which is uh, very, very informative and promising. So there are quite few names, but I think the list is long, which uh, you can share. Many of you have mentioned, yes, Chef Vineet Bhatia and uh, Deepak ji, Muskan ji, uh, uh, I'm seeing your comments. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, moving to the next important aspect, ladies and gentlemen, and coming to the uh, uh, later end of the presentation. With this quarter of the presentation, you must have got an idea that there are various opportunities in hospitality and tourism broadly, careers and the people associated with it and uh, the related aspects. Now we move towards that there is a very interesting study which depicted top 10 skills in the various sectors across the world. In 2015, the first skill which was greater in demand was complex problem solving. It continues to be in 2020 and pandemic is a complex problem. It, it is not at all an easy problem. So uh, we, we are able to uh, understand that how this skill matters. Then 2020, critical thinking is one of the interesting skills which is needed. And I think we need to uh, adapt and adopt to it with us as well as our learners, our young friends that how critical thinking it helped them in coming out with solutions and examining different aspects or facets. Then creativity, which is again a very promising skill. Uh, I think the example of OIO or the example of uh, Tribo or uh, NRI Chaiwala gives uh, some uh, aspects that how creativity can be utilized for uh, uh, amazing careers in hospitality and tourism. Then is people's management, coordinating with others, emotional intelligence. Isn't it a very amazing thing that Dr. Kavita has engaged all of us for almost one hour and 15 minutes? Uh, otherwise, if these webinars are not there, particularly academic fraternity. I think uh, the emotional aspects would be disturbed and confining to our homes will lead to more problems. And if you talk to psychologists, they'll share that what are the different aspects or challenges they have faced. I think you must have come across into the news and other areas also. So dealing with emotional intelligence, judgment and decision making, service orientation, negotiation and cognitive flexibility are the top 10 skills which are needed now. So I think we need to acquaint our learners to do self-assessment and to identify that what is they are looking forward. Now here comes a question at times there is a very uh, interesting thing that is being shared. I would be very happy to answer it. इन्होंने पूछा है कि साहब आप ये स्किल्स के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं कि ये जो स्किल्स हैं लेकिन इन स्किल्स से होगा क्या व्हाट विल हैपन टू द स्टूडेंट्स आपके जवाब प्रश्न का जवाब मैं जरूर दूंगा लेकिन उससे पहले एक और बात कहना चाहूंगा पर्टिकुलरली मैं आप डॉक्टर कविता करना सिर्फ स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स की चिंता नहीं है दोस्तों चिंता हमारी भी है डू यू नो दैट स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज दैट आर करेंटली कंस्टिट्यूटेड विल बी रिडंडेंट बाय 2035 व्हाई दे वुड बी रिडंडेंट because we'll have to go with the change. 
there was a time when the students were lucky. Uh, I, I can claim so that my teachers have been amazing. I have been a student of Chef A.K. Singh. He's here today in this webinar. And they taught us uh, with a lot of technical, academic, and value imbibing skills. But then it was a sheer fate because when I was a learner, I did not know that who would be my teachers and what they would be teaching. Now, with this techno and changing world, the learners today are very, very smart. And the education will move towards borderless education now. It is no more confined to the boundaries of an IHM, of a school, of a university, of a state, or of a nation. The online courses, online platforms are delivering the deliverables at your doorstep. So we need to think about it that the institutions of virtual and meta are open in character and the learners would be hoping towards them. There would be a time that when there would be virtual museums coming, there would be a time when there would be uh, all online degrees uh, and convocations happening and, and things changing. So we need to think about it. Now we uh, come back to the question that was being asked uh, in the chat section that what will happen to the students who are currently enrolled my answer is very straightforward and clear and crisp i would like to answer it in this way that the students who are presently in final year of undergraduate program they need not worry this tough time shall pass so the students who are into undergraduate final year program they should look forward for enhancement of skills and the skills which are which are likely to be in demand or which are in demand in 2020 i have mentioned you so you should utilize your time to sharpen your skills number one and number two you should look forward for enrolling in some postgraduate program because you will go for attaining higher education for next two years and by the time the things and the situation will change so there is nothing at loss so don't get panic, don't get demotivated, look forward for opportunities for higher education. Now coming to the students who are presently in first year or second year, but not in final year, they need not worry otherwise, because anyhow, they were not supposed to be placed this year. Their placements are scheduled in next or the year which they would be graduating. So for them also, the answer is that they should sharpen their skills. They should look forward that what all skills do we need to, having attending this webinar, you have been acquainted with so many areas of careers and opportunities. Think about what passionates you, what fascinates you, and look forward that what skills do you need in that, and invest your time in doing those skills. And for us, me and you, the teachers, the mentors, the trainers, we need to look forward that how we will be developing our skills in terms of digital dissemination, in terms of uh, going for borderless education. And particularly, you see, the chefs have contributed in an enormous way during this time. Serving meals, preparing foods, it's not an easy task, ladies and gentlemen, and so does housekeepers and hotel operating people have done. Salutations to their confidence. Or this is the my Hindustan. कि हम मुश्किल जरी वक्त में मिलके साथ रहते हैं और काम करते हैं और होटल सेक्टर ने ये बखूबी प्रूव किया है अब चलते हैं लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन में कि जिन एस्पेक्ट्स में हमने चर्चा की द वे फॉरवर्ड इज व्हाट वी नीड टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू रिमेंबर दैट्स द फर्स्ट बेसिक थिंग रिकॉग्नाइजिंग एंड रिकॉलिंग फैक्ट्स ज्यादातर एस्पेक्ट हमारा यहां आके रुक जाता है मुझे लगता है इस रिमेंबरेंस के बाद जरूरी है understand understanding what the facts mean is baat ko samjhe ki samay mushkil hai pandemic times hai lekin isse nikalne ke liye kaun kaun si satarktaye rakhni hai aap un hotels ki websites par jaiye dekhiye ki unhone kya kya precautionary measures ki hain aap us aspects ko touch kijiye ki aap kis tarah se us remembering ko understanding mein develop karke aur un facts concepts ya rules ko apply kar sakte hain आज हम वोकल फॉर लोकल की बात कर रहे हैं आज हम सस्टेनेबिलिटी की बात कर रहे हैं बात इस चीज की भी होनी चाहिए कि जो कॉन्सेप्ट्स या जो रूल्स या जो फैक्ट्स हमारे रहे हैं हम उनको अप्लाई कैसे करेंगे एक बेहतरीन सा एग्जांपल यहां पर आता है कि आप देखिए जब हम गांव में रहते थे और 
आज भी हिंदुस्तान में एग्रीकल्चर एक बहुत बड़ा इकोनॉमिक का पार्ट है सोसाइटी का इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेक होल्डर है मुझे ये याद है कि अनाज जो है वो भर के रखा जाता था अगर आपके पास अनाज है और अपने डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स हैं तो मैं नहीं समझता कि कोई लॉकडाउन या कोई पैंडमिक आपको ज्यादा सा इम्पैक्ट डाल सकता है दैट मीन्स हमें ये सोचना होगा कि हमारी जो फोर फादर्स या हिंदुस्तान का कल्चर रहा है उन्होंने क्या किया रिमेम्बर देन इज टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन टू अप्लाई दो रूल्स कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आइडिया भारत जी अपना माइक म्यूट कर लीजिए then we need to look forward to analyze break down this information into component parts evaluate judging the value of information or ideas and then create combining parts to make a new whole think about 20 years from now all luxury hotels or luxury services or luxury eateries they used to offer italian chinese thai uh, mujhe bhi yaad hai ki hotels ke banquets mein पास्ता के लिए ट्रेनिंग को खड़ा किया जाता था जो शेफ बनाता था और उसको प्रॉमिसिंग वे में तैयार करके और फिर डिलीवर करते थे द गेस्ट यूज टू हैव अ सेंस ऑफ प्राइड दैट इन आवर बैंकवेट वी हैव पास्ता सर्व इज नॉट इट दैट विद न्यू क्रिएटिव पैकेजेस द ट्रेडिशनल फूड आइटम्स आर रीगेनिंग पॉपुलैरिटी एंड दिस मॉडल ऑफ रिमेंबर अंडरस्टैंड अप्लाई एनालाइज इवेल्युएट एंड क्रिएट एप्स फिट इनटू दिस perspective of today's uh, area yes varinder ji has mentioned that it's anderson version of learning absolutely varinder ji and bloom sticks economy i am delighted that we have a learned friends with us and they are anxiously participating and enjoying in this session so ab chalte hain dosto is satra ke conclusion ki aur समय की अपनी मर्यादा है तो बहुत अच्छी अच्छी सी चीजें हैं ये तो बहाल हैं आपके लिए कि आप इसको पढ़ते जाइए और मैं आपके लेता हूं प्रश्न अब चैट सेक्शन में उसके बाद हम करते हैं आज के सेशन को क्लोज तो देखिए ना क्या इस पेंडेमिक ने हमें बहुत सारी नई चीजें नहीं सिखाई अभी तक तो हम सेब धोते थे और खाते थे अब ये जानना शुरू कर दिया है कि एप्पल जो है वो हमारी बॉडी में रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप करने की मदद करता है इन्फेक्शन के अगेंस्ट या ब्लू बेरीज जो है वो हमारे दिल को बचाती हैं और ग्रेप्स ब्लड वेसल्स को रिलैक्स करते हैं सो so, इसमें भी एक पॉजिटिविटी निकल के आई है तो आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू स्टे पॉजिटिव एंड लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर गियरिंग अप फॉर फ्यूचर एंड इफ वी आर गियर अप naturally we will pass on it to our learners also and uh, that will help us in a long way uh, to contribute for the development of ourselves our nation and everyone so i am uh, really thankful uh, to delhi technical campus uh, the worthy director and uh, dr kavita khanna and each one of you for having uh, invited me and joining me on this webinar i am delighted i am delighted that with us we have today in today's webinar neeraj raj anish makkar ji abhinav shandelya ji आचल जी आचल सचदेवा जी आदित्य अजय कुमार जी अजय मिश्रा जी एंड 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 लॉट्स लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम हॉस्पिटल इंडियन टूरिज्म सेक्टर पदन सिंह चौहान जी भारती शर्मा जी महेश कुमार जी सुनील जी इंदर रत्नु दे साहब कृष्ण गोपाल दुबे जी मीनाक्षी पांडे जी मोहित मुस्कान नौशीन निशान उमर अब्दुल्ला ओंकार नाथ जी प्रखर पाल प्रणेतवर एन 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 द लिस्ट इज लॉन्ग शिवम गुप्ता सुनील सुनील शर्मा जी सुनील पवार आई एम गेटिंग योर मैसेजेस पीयूष श्रीवास्तव जी एंड ऑल लवली पीपल हु हैव जॉइंड अस फॉर टुडेस वेबिनार सो थैंक यू फॉर योर मैसेजेस निशांत इज आस्किंग व्हेन वी विल गेट टू अ चांस टू हियर यू अगेन निशांत नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन फॉर मी इज पंजाब आई एम गोइंग टू आईएचएम गुरदासपुर फॉर अ फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम सो यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू जॉइन देयर एंड ऑल आई कैन से टू ईच वन ऑफ यू इज स्टे सेफ 
take good care of yourselves and stay connected. Uh, I would still urge upon that when you go to Obro Hotels, you'll find that there are success stories given on Obro Hotels. Go to their success stories and see that how young people have moved on with uh, an amazing career with uh, lovely hotel chain like Obroy's. We Indians are truly proud of our culture of Atithi Devo Bhava and uh, our hotels and hospitality sector has proved that despite we had a tough time, we have taken good care of our guests and we have tried our level best to support each other uh, in all best possible ways which we could have done. So if you have liked this today's webinar, I behalf of, on behalf of all of you, thanks Dr. Kavita Dhanna and Delhi Technical Campus. If you have liked today's webinar, you can write yes into the chat section so that we understand uh, your feedback and uh, if you still have some questions my email twitter facebook and phone numbers are mentioned here you can uh, put them to me at a later stage also would be pleasant to be connected and with us a uh, lot of love and uh, good wishes to all of you to stay safe namaskar and uh, over to dr Kavita. Thank you so very much, sir. It was a really, really wonderful, fruitful, and a very informative session for all of us, for all the faculty, from all the students. They are giving me that you, uh, ma'am, you send our wishes to sir. So thank you. And they are even they are posting in their chat box also. Anish, Achal, Muskan, my chef Sanket Kaplash, he is also messaging. So everyone, like everyone is appreciating and they have enjoyed and learned a lot. So sir, thank you so very much. Sir, ye dhoom meri nahi aapki machai hui hai, jiski wajay se itni, itni sari hamari uh, audience hamare saath judi hai. And uh, hum chahate hai ki isi tarikhe se hum aapko invite karte rahe aur aap hamare invitation ko accept karte rahe. So thank you so very much, sir. Everybody, the, our director, sir, do, Dean, Madam, Dr. Pranay Tanwar, Dr. Divya Mishra, uh, Sanket, and uh, all the students and all the participants from all over the, like wherever, from wherever you have joined us because of Dhaya, sir. And uh, so from Delhi Technical Campus, sir, thank you so very much. Thank you. Namaskar. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.